Good morning, Fahmina Khan is here in TK Maths is fun. In today's video, I will explain to you a concept of rotational symmetry and line of symmetry. Uh, this topic is a part of the syllabus of O-level mathematics. The code is 4024. I have taken two questions from CIE exam, November 19, variant 11, 1, 1, question 15, and June 18, variant 11, 1, 1, question 4. So before we begin, you can see on the top my website address and my blog address. My blog address has all my videos I have made so far and my website address has not only the link of those videos as well as it offers a solution of challenging question and checklist of for exam preparation and offering many more, especially online classes. So let's begin with the topic. Uh, three small triangles. So this picture is given to you here. This diagram is given to you here. And you have to shade one more small triangle in this one so that the diagram has exactly one line of symmetry. Right. Now, when we say line of symmetry, it means on that line, along that line, if you fold the page, for example, this diagram is on the page, right? A paper. If you fold it, then two sides should match, right? So let's see the first one. If I draw the line from here, okay then this shaded portion which has red dot will fall on this because if you will fold it this will come here it is not shaded so i will shade this to make it symmetry similarly this shaded portion where i have written blue dot will fall here so i will have to shade this also and this one if you fold will fall here right so you have to draw three, I mean, you have to shade three triangle to make it symmetry. Whereas question is saying one more small triangle shade. So this is out of question. This can't be line of symmetry. Now let's see this one. If I draw the line of symmetry from here, from the center, because it is an equilateral triangle. This shaded portion will fall here after folding. It is not shaded. I would have to shade. Similarly, this one will fall here. If you will fold it, you will shade this also. Now the condition is out. Question is saying only one triangle you have to shade. This portion is fine. When it will fold, this will fall here. So this is all right. Let's see the third condition. If I draw from here the line of symmetry, this blue dot will fall here. It is already shaded perfectly, OK? And this will fall here, right? So I have to shade only this portion to make it or exactly one line of symmetry. Okay. So let's see the next part. Next part of the question is saying the diagram has three rotational symmetry order, right? It means if you rotate the figure, this triangle will match here, this triangle will match here and so on. So when you will keep rotating, this will match here, then here and then back. So that's why it is called rotational symmetry of order 3. You have to find out x. So what do you notice? If this triangle, if this triangle is same, then what this angle will be? Yes, 88, right? So this angle will be 88. Similarly, in this triangle, if you rotate it, when this will fall here, what this angle will be? 88, right? You have to find out x. Now this is a circle. And this is the center of the circle. So these two lines are what? Equal, right? Because they are radii of a circle. This is a radius of a circle. This is the radius of a circle. So overall, it is forming an isosceles triangle. And in the isosceles triangle, we know the sides which are equal, the angle opposite to them are also equal. So this angle is also x, right? So now you have all the angles in a triangle. Sum of the angles of triangle is equal to what? 180 degree. So that's why x plus x plus 88 is 180 degree. So x is equal to 92 divided by 2 because I took 88 here, subtracted it from 180. I got 92. So basically I got x equals to 46. Then I have to find out the value of y. Now, if you see this point, you know the property uh, of angles that angle at a point is 360. So 
So all the angles around the point, if you add up, are equals to 360. So how many angles do we have here? 88, Y, 88, Y, 88, Y. And these two Ys are because of symmetrical property. So I will add them up and put it equals to 360. I have written 3 times 88 because there are 388 and there are 3 Ys. So it will help me to form an equation. I will solve it and get the value of Y. So this is how you will find the value of X and Y in the figure. Let's see the other question. Um, you have to draw reflection of this or you have to draw the image here such that this line L is the symmetrical line. Question is saying part of the shape such that this becomes symmetry. Right? So if you fold on it, you should get exactly this shape. So what comes in your mind before I show you the solution? Look at it. Because, you know, th there is no um, formula to do this. You have to understand through this. If the reflection is here, this point will fall here. So this will be the line of symmetry for this. Sorry, reflection of this, right? Similarly, if you see here, it is going down here. So it will go here. Because this is one diagonal and this is another diagonal. So basically, we pick up the main points of the figure. This will remain here. It is on the line of symmetry. This point, if you see perpendicular distance from this is one diagonal. So I will have other point here. This point will remain here. This point will remain here because it is on symmetry. What about this one? This You always see perpendicular distance of the point from the line of symmetry. So it is half diagonal. So other half will be here. Right? This is another point. It is one complete diagonal perpendicular. So it will be here. So now if I join it, it will be this, 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 and this. So let's see the shape. I hope it is making sense to you. So this will become the shape of the graph. Right? Let's see the second part of the question. You have to draw the shape or complete the shape such that it shows that it has a rotational symmetry of order 2. Now, we know whenever we are talking about rotational symmetry of order 2, it means 180 degree rotation one time and then 180 degree rotation. So basically, the hint here is that whenever we are rotating at 180 degree, right, it means opposite side from the point of rotation. So if this is my point of rotation, this point will come here this point will go here sorry this side this point will come here and this point will come somewhere here we will see where it will go okay but my point here is if i draw a straight line from here then this point will be coming over here and this line if i draw from here by this side because i said 180 degree so 180 degree when you go you come to this side so let's draw these straight lines first to understand. So I have given name to these, these vertices, A, B, C, D. I have given it to make explanation easy. And then a straight line drawing which is passing through the origin or through the point of rotation about which you are rotating the object. And I have drawn a straight line. Similarly, this one I have drawn. Now, why I did not draw from here? Because this is already a straight vertical line, so I can count boxes on it. So that's why I'm not worried for A and D. But yes, for B and C, I have drawn it. Okay, now. So this point C, if you see how far it is, if you have any problem, you can use ruler, but there is no need because grid is given to you. So if I see from here, two units here and one unit here. So you can go two unit here, one unit here. So this is your point. If you look at B from here, either you count this way or this way, choice is yours. So one unit here and two unit down. So one unit left, two unit up. So this is my point B. After rotation of one degree, 180 degree, it will come here. Now this D point, uh, which is uh, here, it is one unit up. So it will come one unit down. This point A, which is two unit down from O, 
will go two unit up. So now if I complete this diagram, I will get the shape which if you which will have two um, order of rotational symmetry, right? So let's complete this figure. And now let me remove these black dotted lines so it will give you a beautiful touch. So now I can say that okay, this figure has rotational symmetry of order 2 about point O. And we have seen how we have constructed it. So thank you very much for watching this video. If you have learned something from it, please press like and subscribe button. Share it with your friends. And do give your comments. Your constructive positive comments help me to uh, make video of your choice, what you want. Thank you. Take care, Allah Hafiz.